Don't take artery. It will give you cancer. Hi, I'm Andy from Gym Nutrition, so welcome back to another video. Thanks for tuning in. So on today's video, I wanna talk about the possible cancer causing effects of cardarine. Now, before I start, as you know, I'm not a doctor. I'm not advocating, advocating the use of SARMs or any other performance hearts in SARM, steroid or anything of that nature. All I'm about to tell you now is all published on the internet, so you can go and have a look for yourself. I'm just telling it how I how I sort of see it basically. So, let's dive straight in. Everybody has a attitude to risk. Now, me personally, I look at things and I think to myself, is there a big risk in taking whatever supplement, whatever drug, blah, 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 blah. And I will sort of analyze that, maybe do a little bit of research on YouTube or look it up on the internet, etc., etc. And I'll come up with my own conclusion on what I think is risk to benefit ratio. We're all got our own attitude um, on risk. Now with me personally, as long as something I deem is reasonably risk three, free, then I'll probably dive in and try it. If somebody said to me, I'll tell you what, how do you fancy climbing Mount Everest? It's really, really good fun. I'm gonna immediately say, nah, you're all right, mate. It's not really for me. Why do I say that? Apart from it being like hard work, I'm probably gonna die. It's not really that safe, I don't think. So for me personally, I ain't going up Mount Everest, mate. For you, you might think, brilliant idea, I'm gonna climb up Mount Everest. So it's all down to the individual at the end of the day. So where does this cancer thing come from? Now, a few years ago, there was a study in a journal, can't remember the name of the journal off the top of my head, some journal it's all on the internet now in this study it was done on mice and they found out that these mice contracted cancer by taking cardarine now the sensationalist headlines will be cardarine causes cancer in mice Ooh, that's interesting i think i might have a look at that now this journal apparently from what i read on the internet you have to pay a subscription to get this journal. Now, like everything, the subscription cost about, I think it was like 60 to 70 dollars, something around that sort of area. Now, everything you buy on subscription, or you buy a newspaper, a magazine, you watch the news on the TV, all the headlines are going to be sensationalized. Why is that? Because they want you to buy the journal, the newspaper. They want you to watch the, the news on the TV. It's like, you know, there might be, a, there might be an inc incident at an airport, say, for argument's sake. And the incident in the newspaper might be reported as terrorist plot foiled at so-and-so airport. What are you going to do? You're probably going to read that if you're interested in that sort of thing. And it turns out that somebody had got a small knife in their back pocket that they forgot about because they had been fishing the day before, something along that sort of lines. So they sensationalise it, yeah, to get you to buy into, into their product, into their newspaper. So from what I can see, this cardarine cancer scare is kind of pretty similar to what I've just outlined now. So let me tell you what, why I think that. Now, the doses they gave mice was approximately six times the amount a human would take. Okay, and the duration of this dose was two years. And they come up with a, can give them cancer. Now, a, mu a mice, a mouse, a moose, a mouse, a mouse, will live approximately two to two and a half years. So you can safely say that this mouse, I can't say mouse, this mouse was given, or these mice were given, I should say, 
Cardery had an extortionate dose for pretty much the entire length of their life. So if you relate that to humans, I relate that to myself and I think, well, okay, I'm not gonna take six times the human dose, you know, the human sort of doses for the entire length of my life. I'm just not gonna do that, am I? So, as far as I'm concerned, the cancer scare is a very, very low risk. But that's me personally speaking. Now, what I suggest you do is you do your own research and you come up with your own conclusion if you want to take carnarine or any, any other performance enhancing products, put it like that. And then you'll come up with a, hmm, okay, it's not worth taking because the risk is too high. Or, yeah, the risk seems pretty low. I think I'm going to take it. Like I say, me personally, I've got no issues with taking carterine. I find it a great product, worked really well for me, improved my endurance. I'll put a, I'll put a link to the carterine video because I'm not going to go through what carterine does in this video, but I'll put a link to that at the end of this video. So, just a quick dog walky carterine video. And if you got to the end, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.